morning, everybody. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Uh, today is no equipment required day. Uh, not that it's going to be easy because I don't think it is. We've got some challenging pieces today. So let's start with side shuffle and get the blood going. <clears throat> so similar to the question that came up, uh, that if you're watching this as a recording, you missed it because I didn't record it. But uh, sometimes you might be, uh, be about to start a workout and uh, things just aren't quite the way they normally are for you. So just as it turns out, this morning is, is that for me as well. Uh, just a little bit, I don't know, a little bit stiff and sore. So keep going here. Um, so then you just kind of move into the process a little more slowly. Okay, three, two, one, and come on out. So a little extended warm up. Let's do butt kickers, starting with something slower and gentler, progressing more slowly. Maybe instead of five minutes, you do 10 minutes. And then at that point, uh, you kind of assess how you're feeling. In my experience, nine times out of 10, I'm now back to normal and ready to work out. But once in a while, my body says, nope, today is not the day to push it. That warm up almost killed me. I don't feel any better. Three, two, one, and then I just shut it down. Okay. Let's do a hike. So knee up uh, to opposite hand, touch touch, touch, chest tall, right? Chest proud, shoulders back, toes lifting inside the shoe. And we're just tapping. You can go faster if you want or slower. Uh, each kind of does something a little bit different, but all of it warms you up. So what's the, what's the phrase? You can't screw this up until somebody sends me a video and thought, oh, look at that. You could, didn't realize that. Three, two, one, let's do arm circles. So comfort, comfort size, speed, and position. Okay, keep doing that. Looking good. All right. Oh, sorry. If you're muting yourself, I uh, just unmuted you and muted you again. All right, circles. So now we're going to go smaller and faster, smaller and faster. Uh, and you might be doing exactly what I'm doing or something completely different because of how your wonky shoulder works. Smaller and faster, smaller and faster. Shoulders stay down, tummy stays tight. Now you're sculling the water vigorously. Three, two, one, and switch direction. So the size and speed is what you find comfortable. It doesn't have to be as big as possible at all but you're holding some tension in your abdomen, kind of pulling those front ribs down a little bit. Uh, shoulders are back. And now it's gonna get smaller and faster, smaller and faster, smaller and faster. I, I feel a lot of burning sensations in my shoulder when I do this exercise. So this feels almost beyond a warm up version, but I think I might, anyways, that's my shoulders. Three, two, one, and relax, perfect, all right. So one of our exercises that's, that's the challenging one today is reverse lunges with a reposition of our foot in that bottom spot. So we got to warm that up. So here we go. We're going to take our right foot back, which means the right hand comes down to the floor and we twist and open to the ceiling and come back up. Back leg stays straight. Okay, back leg stays straight. If this position is outside of your movement zone, then if the right leg goes back, right forearm goes to the left knee and you just twist to the left as far as you feel comfortable, okay? We're not holding any of these positions. We're going in, oops, and out, waking up the balance, okay? The easiest version of this might look like this, just a slight twist to one side. So you're not stepping back too far. Uh, working with that balance, right? I'm just clearly demonstrating what, what poor balance in the morning looks like just for demonstration purposes, so I can use this video later. <clears throat> Obviously my balance is perfect all the time. We're doing one more each side. And the opportunities to practice being humble are just so numerous. Okay, grab some water and let me show you the deal. So we're gonna do the reverse lunge with the reposition of the foot. I'm gonna say that repositioning of the foot would be an option because that makes it quite a bit harder. So if we step back with one leg, then our front leg, we're just gonna 
hop it to a new spot. Come up, that same leg goes back, and then we hop it to a new spot, okay? Pretty, pretty twingy, like that's, that's a good one, okay? Now, maybe you're thinking, well, that's off the table. So then don't do it. We just do a reverse lunge and pop up. You get to choose how low you go. So only go as low as you want to. Um, there's a kind of an intermediate version where you try, but you can't get your foot off the floor. And that's excellent too, all right? So we'll do one side, then the other side, and then we're gonna do a plank knee to elbow. One of my favorite plank exercises. I can hear the groans from across the province already. So, so touch, touch. Does it have to touch? No, nope. it can come halfway, okay? Nice and slow and controlled. Get the idea that your body is rocking up over your wrists, okay? And yes, it might feel bad for the wrists, so that might be the limiting factor, but continue with your own tolerance. Um, your wrists will get better. To make that easier, um, hand on the stool, hand on the chair, hand on the back of the couch. Mm, pardon me, all makes it easier, okay? Or possible. All right, let's do that. So the clock I've got is 40 on, 20 off, a little less rest than our standard 30. We're going for three rounds. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. It's all one leg for, the, for a set. So it's a step back and then a little pop and reposition that foot. Uh, another way to kind of make this just a little bit easier is maybe you do the little hop the first three or four times and then you feel like, no, I can't do it anymore. Then don't. Just do regular reverse lunges, okay? Nice. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like this is, we've got some power work going on here. There's some snap. Some of you are born naturally with power. Maybe you know that. Three, two, one. Maybe you don't. If you're like, well, this isn't that hard. Congratulations, you're born with power. Good for you. Uh, if this feels like impossible, well, then you're not born with power, okay? You can develop it, though. Uh, if there was a point to that story, I forget what it was going to be. All right, other leg. Three, two, one. Here we go. I think the point might have been all of us might feel very different things with this exercise. Uh, some of us might think, whoa, that looks really hard. And then it's actually not for you. And vice versa. Oh, I know the point. Okay. <laughs> right? If you just keep talking, eventually you think of it. So when it comes to like daily living type stuff, uh, snow and ice is coming up for us, right? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Come on up, rest, getting ready for plank, knee to elbow. So that whole uneven ground, stepping onto something that's slippery and your foot slips, and you have to make an adjustment to prevent your head from sitting the, hitting the sidewalk. That's what this is good for for us, okay? okay here we go, three, two, one, plank, knee to elbow. Nice work. So this is 40 seconds worth. Uh, another way to just take the edge off of this is just take a knee, take two breaths, and then jump back in, okay? We got 20 seconds to go. Now it's only eight. And three, two, one, rest. Uh, another way to just gently modify that exercise is bring a knee up and back and then wait three seconds. Other knee, wait three seconds. You're doing more plank than you are actually knee to elbow. All right, that's one round done. Second round to go. Ready, set, and go. Pick a leg, doesn't matter which leg you're doing. You get to that bottom position and you reposition. Uh, if this is something that you really struggle with and you're also of the mentality like, you know what, I'm going to do this, which you probably are, that's why you're here, then practice it more often than we do, like maybe once a week, okay? Maybe twice a week on your own. And then you will notice, guaranteed, within a month, 
you will notice a huge change. Three, two, one, rest. And why would you want to do that? I don't know. Prove to yourself that exercise works. That gets you excited. Keep showing up. Five years later, you're a rock star. Three, other leg, two, one. You started this five years ago and you're wondering, am I a rock star now? Yes. Yes, you are. And we got 20 seconds to go. Just wait as the days get shorter, less sunlight, colder temperatures. Remember last year, right? My little monologues get pretty loopy, right? <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. <laughs> I found it's very important for me not to listen to these recordings after. Edit them with the sound off. I don't need to hear. Okay, getting ready for plank. Oh, 20 second rest is fast. Three, two, one. Here we go. If you want to make this a little bit harder for yourself, uh, press the knee to the elbow and count to two or three. I would demonstrate that, but you guys know how to count. So okay, we're halfway. Almost there. In three, two, one, rest. Perfect, two down. All right, third and final one here coming up. Uh, maybe you're just on the verge of like, this is too hard, then make it easier. Three, two, one, begin. Or knowing that it's the last one. Make it just a little bit harder. See if you can do it. 99 times out of 100, and I just make those numbers up, but 99 times out of 100, you can do it just a little bit more than what you thought. Excellent. Uh, notice how if you let your stomach go loose, the hop isn't very hoppy. But if you brace your stomach when you try to hop, you're hoppier. Three, two, one, rest. <clears throat> Don't start thinking about beer just because we're talking about hops. Stay focused. Okay, three, two, one other leg, here we go. You are exhaling on the way up and probably sneaking in a couple extra breaths during the whole process, maybe. Uh, anybody try holding their breath to make the hop work? It will work better, but you shouldn't do it. We should not hold our breath when exercising. All right, 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one, rest. One of the ways to make this easier for yourself is when I start the countdown, three, two, one, you may choose to stop when I say three. All right, plank knee to elbow, ready? Three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds. Now it's 10 to go. In 
in three, two, one, and rest. You may collapse to the floor because that's pretty cool or hop up and walk around. If you're on the floor, take some deep breaths and feel your abdomen extend down into the floor. It almost feels like your back rises with every inhalation. If you're lying there, that's what you do, okay? Okay. <clears throat> oh man, I just went to sleep there for a little moment. Forgot what I was doing. Okay, oh, we're doing plank stuff, huh, okay. Didn't we just do plank stuff? I don't know. All right, I think what I wanna do is something nice and simple. And that Tabata stuff from Tuesday was really fun. So we're just going to make this, I'll just say like nice and simple still, okay? Nope, wrong change of mind. We're going to do, yeah, perfect. Okay, we're going to do a pyramid plank. So that's starting with 20 seconds and then a 30 second rest. 30 second rest always. It's 20, 30, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20. That's how this works, okay? Uh, the reason we do these is, uh, I don't know, I get to type in pyramid plank on the description on YouTube and that sounds cool. And also it's an exercise that sometimes is a good thing to make you feel good about um, how strong you are. So plank, normal plank, we just, we've been in the position, right? Um, if by now the, the wrists are taking a toll and you're like, I can't do any more planks. Yeah, you can. Let's switch to elbows. Okay. That hurts the elbows. Get a pad. And then also, obviously, you're on the stool, the chair, uh, the back of the couch. And for sure, because it's part B, you may choose just a, a wall, a wall lean, okay? You might think, well, that's not very hard. No, I don't think it is very hard. However, we're tired. And so it might just be the perfect way to go. All right. 10 seconds. We're going in. When I say not very hard, that's obviously a very relative subjective term. All right. Plank in three, two. One, this is for 20 seconds. Now we're just noticing that when we exhale, we feel strong. When we inhale, we feel less strong. So we have to focus on a tighter, more stiff brace in the abdomen when we inhale. Three, two, one, and rest. Now 30 second rests, okay? We're not doing Tabata because we did Tabata on Tuesday. And that is not the go-to we don't. We don't often do 10 second rest intervals. Uh, we just do that once in a while for fun. Um, 20 seconds sometimes, 30 seconds more often, okay? <clears throat> All right, we're going in five seconds. In three, two, one, plank. And now this one's for 30 seconds, okay? So rest intervals that are like 30 seconds or longer, 40, 50, 60 seconds, have a lot of value too, okay? Um, the, I'm gonna say the main reason I don't do that is this class is confined to a 30 minute session. And uh, we just wanna get as much as we possibly can do done in that time. Three, two, one, and down, okay? So if this was a strength class and not strength and intervals, I would probably make the class at least 45 minutes so we could do the same work with more rest and get more strength adaptation. So if you're recording any of this, paying attention to any of this stuff and doing it on your own, that's an adaptation you can apply, which lets you maybe choose a harder position for the plank because you know you're gonna get a longer rest. Three, two, one, here we go. And if your goal, this is 40 seconds, if your goal is to truly get stronger, to be able to do this better, um, that's how you would um, apply that. So the same routine, but 60 second rests between everything. So the workout's gonna take longer, um, but you will get stronger. We're way past halfway. 10 seconds to go. And three, two, one, rest. Okay, that was 40 seconds, which means the next one's the big one. A, you might choose to just 
dig in and make it. B, you may choose to work as hard as you can. And when you're done, you're done. You just have a longer rest than me. <clears throat> C, uh, just take a little break during, like let's say two or three bakes breaks during. Take a knee, take a breath, back up. All right. And three, two, one, here we go. So this is where if a 50 second plank is a max effort for you, then this workout is very hard because a 30 second rest is not enough to recover from a maximum effort. So if you're trying and doing your best, uh, later when you've got a free hand, pat yourself on the back and say, I crushed it. <clears throat> even if it kind of seemed like you didn't do some of it or somebody watching you thought, well, you didn't do it. I'm listening to the video, having my toast and coffee. You didn't do what he said. <clears throat> Stop talking to that person. Uh, eight seconds to go. And three, two, one, come on out. Oh, yeah. So... <clears throat> Just as a general description, I felt that. <clears throat> so now we're on the downside of the pyramid. So the pyramid word is like going up one side to 50 seconds and then down the other side, right? So now it's in three, two, one, and plank. <clears throat> So doing a pyramid workout might refer to, this is what it feels like to be entombed in a sarcophagus for eternity. That's not why we call it that. <clears throat> and now they're getting shorter. They might not feel any easier, but they are getting shorter. 15 seconds to go. 10. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, nice work. Oh, last week, I did listen to a little bit of audio when I was editing, and I'm not sure if I was just lucky or not, but on the video, I was doing something that I remember definitely grunting through, but the audio didn't seem to pick it up, so I hope that's true, because if you guys are hearing what I'm doing, <laughs> here we go, uh, three, two, one, and up. And now this is for 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm sure you guys look fantastic. Uh, you could do, if, you're, if the wrists are bothersome, you could do one on the wrists and then the next one on the elbows and switch back and forth. Uh, you could always hold one hand in the air to take the pressure off. That does not make the exercise easier, though. It just makes your wrist feel better. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we got one to go. One to go. So if you're in this kind of bent over position, wondering why we're still doing this, take a nice deep breath in, let your abdomen distend. So the abdomen distends kind of between your legs. That stretches out the muscle, lets blood flow through it, and prepares it for the last piece. <clears throat> All right, we're going in three, two, one, and up. Nice. Okay, here we go. Last plank. I promise there's no more. There's, there might be a part C, but there's no planks in it or anything with your wrists. <laughs> Make sure your head doesn't just hang off the front of your body. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, you may collapse to the floor. If you do, same idea. Inhale and kind of really let your abdomen distend into the floor. Or if you're up and walking around um, and you work really hard, don't drink too much water. Sometimes you end up seeing it again, um, but have some water. Okay, what do we got? Oh, you know what? Let's do some stretching here. We got time for a little more stretching than normal. So uh, what should we do? I'm going to, let's do this one. I'm going to grab my mat. I always wonder if you guys have little flashes and tingles when I bring the mat out. 
So a nice glute stretch because their glute really got worked with those reverse lunges. And so this is a stretch that I love to do with my foot against a wall just because it's easier to do it that way. I'm going to take the left ankle across right knee. Uh, from this position, I'm going to be aware of the fact that I'm trying to continuously kind of squeeze my tummy and also dig my lower back into the floor. So I'm trying to, well, arch my lower back away from the floor, but that very bottom where your SI joints are, those little dimples where your underwear goes across, kind of dig those into the floor. You're, you're doing that the whole time. And now depending on your flexibility, let's go into the stretch. You might just grab your shin and pull it in towards your body. That bottom leg is maybe helping pull it up. If you have long enough arms and or you're flexible enough, you lace your fingers in behind your right leg. Remember that kind of arching your back thing? You're doing that gently. You're not doing it vigorously. And this is a stretch for the left glute. If you've got your left ankle across right knee, it's your left glute that's being stretched. I'll be honest, when I do this stretch, sometimes I feel it in the right place and sometimes I don't and I don't worry about it. Three, two, one, come on out and switch sides. <clears throat> right ankle across left knee and then arch your back and pull that in. Uh, so for your right foot, you want the toes lifted inside your right foot for a different reason than we sometimes do it. Like when we're marching, we're just lifting our foot to make sure we maintain that capacity. In this case, this right knee is, is being torqued a little bit and lifting the toes stabilizes that joint. So you might find that the, the worst part of the stretch for you is that it makes the knee kind of feel achy. So pay attention to that and only go as far as the knee wants you to. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's do the other side again. So the knee joint obviously is made to bend like the hinge of a door, um, but it does rotate a little tiny bit. If you lose that rotation mobility, then your knee can often just ache all the time. If you ask your knee to rotate too much, you will get the same symptoms. So more often than not, we've lost that movement. And then this position really hurts. So this might be a, a glute or hip stretch, but for you, it might be a knee mobility stretch. Three, two, one, switch sides. And again, when I talk about this up against the wall, it's my, so in this position, my right ankle is on my left knee. And that means my left foot has the option to just lean against the wall. And then I don't have to do all this pulling and holding, okay? I still have to try to arch my back away from the floor. It doesn't have to leave the floor. You just have to try to get it to leave the floor, okay? And then I don't have to do all this pulling with my arms. If I want to make the stretch more vigorous, I just scooch my body closer to the wall by like two millimeters, and then it's a completely different stretch. Three, two, one, switch sides. Ooh. I've got my left ankle on right knee. <clears throat> You don't really have to worry about pulling the knee in or pushing the knee out. I like to just let it go where it goes. And then you might see me, if you look really closely, you might see me doing some little kind of detail things with my leg. And that's just because I've done the stretch lots and lots. And I know what position my knee doesn't like and what it does and how I can make the stretch just specific to me. And so that's what I'm doing. And that's what all exercises and all stretches should be for you. And let's switch sides. Let's do one more each side. Every exercise and every stretch that I show you to do or you see on a video, your goal is to make it your own. Practice it, learn it, ask questions, and then make it your own. And I'm going to say it's pretty fun and maybe easier to be motivated to do the workouts when they are your workouts that you've created for yourself. Still breathing. Three, two, one. Let's switch sides. Last stretch on last leg. And that's when your changes happen. And that's when people that know you start to ask you about your secret programs. And if you'd be willing to share them. <laughs> yeah. 
three, two, one, and let that go. Awesome. Oh, that was good. All right. Uh, nice work, everybody. Congratulations on showing up here. Um, your body appreciates it, and so do I. I said that wrong. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. <laughs> so does your body. Have a good day. See you later.